following message is brought to you by the Nerd World Order. What's up, Corner? Gosmos is coming to you. Haven't worn this one in a while. Just a uh, quick little mail call. It is New Comic Book Day, which means I'm a week late. So, uh, just wanted to share a few things. Got a few different things. Uh, got a little mail call from uh, the War Dog. And uh, he sent me a, li a little bit of cap love. It's a uh, cap shield patch. And I was telling him I, I love it. I got to find uh, something worthy of putting it on. And he was like, maybe you should join the vested villains. And I'm like, ah, no, I don't know. I got this whole mass villains thing going on. So I don't know. Maybe I can get get the wife to sew it on there. Maybe. I don't know. Thank you, War Dog. And then uh, Mr. Eric Grimes uh, hit me up for a couple more commissions. And I got a couple to do for him. And uh, just out of the kindness of his heart, he threw in a couple of blanks. A uh, Wolverine blank, number one. A Deadpool Merc with... Merc for money? I don't know. I can't see it. Yeah, Merc for money, volume two, number one blank. And a Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vowels, number one blank. So, muchas gracias to... Uh, Mr. Eric Grimes. Eric's a cool dude. Eric is one of those dudes that I I talk to pretty much almost every day. Uh, just cause. Even if it's just like a, you know, hey, you doing alright? Yeah, I'm doing alright. You doing alright? Yeah, I'm doing alright. Alright, later. So, I mean, that's just another reason why this, this group is great. You, you meet people or you become friends with them online or whatever. And whether you're talking comics or not, they just kind of check up on you. Uh, when, uh, Art Germ, uh, joined the corner, uh, it was one of those nights that I was up all night, which is practically every night, but I knew he was sleeping and he hadn't seen it, but I went ahead and messaged him anyway. And, uh, you know, hours later, it was like 5 a.m. roughly, I guess, I don't know. And he messages me back, uh, like, LOL, what? Like, like, I don't think he believed me, like. I don't know if he's anything like me when you first wake up. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. And uh, as I'm typing back to him, yeah, you know, trying to tell him, yeah, I'm not fucking with you. He was like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. So, yeah, that was cool. Uh, let's see, what else? What else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of art germ, move on to the, to the mail calls. Got, uh, finally, that sweet-ass Phoenix Resurrection. Sorry for the glare. I got some top loaders. Uh, and, of course, I went ahead and put that in there already. Because that's friggin' gorgeous. Which, everybody's seen it, but I don't care. I'm showing it to you anyway. And then, uh, got myself a couple blanks because they were cheap. Got a Secret Six. And a Betty and Veronica just because... Why not? Might do something fun on that one. Uh, keep them with the art germ love. Got the wife, uh, Supergirl 14. Because somehow I missed that one uh, when I got her 13. I got her like 13, 15, and then Eric sent her 16. And we missed this one somehow. I got to get her 12 and 17 and 18, obviously. And also for the wife, I grabbed her. Uh, she's a big Michael Turner fan. Uh, this uh, Avalon Studios Aria number one, Michael Turner cover, and then for myself, even though I'm not a big Spider-Man dude, I like Spider-Man, but I I don't I don't actively collect. I kind of like take Spider-Man for granted, like he's always been there, sort of thing. Uh, kind of like a lot of people are about like I guess Superman. Like, I love fucking Superman. Like, Big L was talking about Superman. And I'm a Superman guy. I'm, I'm Team Superman over Team Batman. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of, I don't know. It's 
Spider-Man, I, I even had a subscription to Spider-Man, but I mean, I'm just not a big Spidey guy, but I went ahead and grabbed this uh, Amazing Spider-Man, again, Renew Your Vows, number one. Got that Mark Brooks variant. Mark Brooks is tremendous. I love his stuff. And then I went and hell, uh, got that Hellboy. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Krampus. I could probably try it and probably butcher it. Krampus knocked. And then uh, got I got a couple uh, Grim Fairy Tales for the sexy covers. The uh, 2017 Armed Forces Edition by Mr. Mike Gabalfo, who's a badass. And uh, I love me some redheads, so uh, I had to get that one. And then I got this uh, Grim Fairy Tales Diamond Exclusive Gold Foil Limited to 1200. Uh, Ebass, Eric Basaluda, Basaluda, I don't know how to say it. But that one. As everybody says, boobies. And then, uh, last thing I got was. Um, James Potter was having an auction over on the on the market, and I picked up a couple, just some run filler uh, All Star Squadron uh, that I needed because I love my JSA. I'm trying to complete that run, and uh, some OG Suicide Squad, which I used to have the whole run of that. Uh, don't anymore. I have like one through twelve, and then I got like four from him, and then from him I also grabbed my first slab. Which, uh, I've never, I, I'm, I'm really not a slab dude. Um, but I grabbed this because it's a Michael Turner cover. My life, my wife loves Michael Turner. It's a, uh, second print Aspen edition of, uh, Batman Rebirth. CGC 9.8. I'm sorry for the glare, but my lighting in here is terrible. But, uh. I, I know it's second print and blah, 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 and all that shit. I don't care. I've seen the first print. I went and compared them. I, and like uh, Ryan Casey Lawson was saying about the, uh, the Totally Awesome Hulk, I like this better than the regular. So it's going to stay in the slab. For me, it was like I got it, I got it for a fucking steal. But uh, for me, it was like, well, you know, my wife's not a big Batman fan, but she is a big Michael Turner fan. And she loves his art, no matter what he draws. So for this, this was like paying for uh, a nice piece of artwork that she could put on the wall. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, sent out some care packages that some people got. Well, everybody got them, but um, I'm expecting one from Ryan Casey Lawson. Can't wait to see what that is. And, um, oh, I've had a lot of people hitting me up for commissions. I know everybody's broke, myself included. Uh, just to give everybody a heads up, I've got two covers left, and then I'm wide open. So any of y'all that's been hitting me up, like, I'll get to you when I got money, uh, I'm going to be wide open here probably within the next week. So just a heads up. So, uh, corner strong, corner love, and later.